We are really excited about Foraminifera. They are so cute and precious. If you want to study them, get our help for free at foraminifera.eu. You are watching now from the Beach series, episode 1, Tunisia. We will take a look at a sample from Tunisia, from the beach. And the first thing we have to do is to clean our tray because we don't want to mix our new material with old ones which has been in the tray. So now the tray is cleaned and of course we need a spoon to disperse our material and here it comes. It's a sample sent to me from Tunisia and the first thing you do is just to note where it's coming from and as you can see it's from Radesh in Tunisia from an outlet of the river Wet Milian near Tunis. Okay, so that's our sample and now we try to get a very small portion of these maybe 200 grams with this very small spoon so I try to grab some random material and now comes the point to disperse it and it's very important to only have one level, one um, yeah, one level, so as you can see, the particles are still lying one with a space to the next one. It's it's not good to have uh, all the material in one spot. So it's now evenly dispersed, and we can take the next step. Now the samples under the microscope and we are seeing one field, one centimeter by one centimeter, we don't see much but it looks like a pretty Mediterranean beach sample with a lot of quartzes and uh, of course we have to move in, we have to look for some forearms, we have to get sharpness and light and there you can see something round, something spiral and if we get more light we can see it's a kind of a spiral and in the middle there are some dots and if we flip it a little bit we can see a double keel here and on the other side it's lo looking different so it's a trochospiral foraminifera as you can see here in the middle something is stuck and the appearance is it's not very sharp on the edges it's just a little bit rounded and uh, I know this shape only from the upper Cretaceous as Globotruncana so we expected a Mediterranean beach sample with m lots of recent uh, stuff, but actually this one at least is a uh, must have been reworked. And uh, what's that? Also not quite the typical beach material because we have a planktonic form in the fur here, which usually do not live close to the beach but far out in the ocean. So. That's also suspicious. What is looking there behind, hiding behind the quartzes? I have to get it out with a pencil, and um, I think now we can see it's B cereal. It has two rows of round chambers and uh, also a planktonic foraminifera very popular in, uh, in, the, in the upper Cretaceous and here is an SEM of these uh, species and it looks pretty much like Heterohelix globulosa which would indicate Maastricht and Campanian age and if we move on we have, for example we also find another uh, one which is uh, prone to be of Cretaceous age so there are lots of Cretaceous, I think, uh, for omnifera, but also some recent, only very few, maybe 1%, 1 in 100. And what's the difference? Take a look at the upper right corner. Something is broken off there, but there are still very sharp edges. And also in the middle, the, the fine structures are well preserved. It means that the forearm is not dead very long, maybe fr from the season. So the first impression is that uh, we have a sample with a lot of fossil foraminifera and we think that several are of upper Cretaceous age. Only a few um, are, are recent ones, like this ammonia we have seen 
and so it would be very interesting to get uh, material to correlate our sample from up the river Milian, maybe from a known outcrop. That was an interesting sample and a lot of things have to be clarified and need further investigation. Next time we will have a common beach sample, so subscribe to the uh, channel, see you soon. Thank you for listening. I'm Michael from foraminifera.eu